Hi guys! Hey guys, how are we doing? <laughs> they can't answer. Oh. They're trapped on the other side of an LCD screen. Maybe a 4K monitor if they're very lucky. Wow. At their super sweet gaming setup mm. that, you know, they might get featured on my gaming spotlight that I do as part of my G Mini Weekly Update every week. Wow. Yep, drop some comments down below, oh. I'm just saying. Welcome back to another G. Are we good? No. I feel like it's kind of Mark's thing. Yeah. I feel like we all have to be together to do that. Yeah, that's what or I'm Or at least doing. Mark has to be here. You know? Oh, that's right. Wait, wait, we have to do it faster now. Yeah. That's right. Okay. Mark, editor's note, since you're actually editing this. Speed it speed up. Speed it up. One, one ten percent. That's right. We all are right. fucking around. And welcome back to another... How are we doing today, Seth? I'm doing fantastic. How are you doing, Mr. Brady? I'm doing well. It looks like today we're doing a Magic the Gathering trailer, which... I know you haven't been too much privy to the Magic the Gathering. Not community. really. I like I so I obviously I've heard of Magic for a long time. I know that Magic the Gathering and Wizards of the Coast are the, like they it's this or Wizards of the Coast is the publisher and owner of Dungeons and Dragons and Magic the Gathering. Right. I know that D and is coming out with a Strixhaven campaign setting, and Strixhaven is one of the worlds of Magic the Gathering. Mm -hmm. And I know that there's like a lot of crossover. Okay. But that's kind of where my knowledge ends. Uh yeah. Yep, that's pretty much it. That's, yeah. that's all. And I would say that I played a good amount of Magic when I was in high school. Um, I did some... I really like deck building games specifically, so... Mm -hmm. um, There's something very satisfying about building your deck. Yeah, exactly. So I, I had a, a small group of friends where we'd go to McDonald's and battle a little Ooh, bit. Ooh, hell yeah. Um, get some nugs? Yeah, get, get some, some nuggets? nuggets but I'm no, sit on those tables? I'm no expert in the, like, the lore specifically, so... See, that's like the shit I live for. Well, but. then, I think you're gonna have a fun time with this trailer. We're going back all the way back to what? 2012? I have no idea where this is from. 2012. No return to Rav... Ravnica. Ravnica. See, now there is the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, which is, again, one of the other worlds that exists within D&D. So, like, artificers come from Ravnica. There's certain different, like, subclasses and things like that mm -hmm. that, that are very, very prevalent in Ravnica. Mm -hmm. I've heard it mentioned in the Player's Handbook in D&D, so maybe I might see something unfamiliar. I was going to say, I'm really excited to see what kind know. of crossover there is, and maybe if we can get some people in the office to start making some decks so we can Ooh. try and play a little Ooh. bit. Ooh. Anyway. Okay. These run backwards. That's not, how those, <laughs> that's not how those go. And these is the reaction to Return to Rav. Return to Rav. There's the classic I magic do, thing. I do love that logo, though. It is a really nice logo. Mm -hmm. Wait, what? Those are all the... They like, look like planes of existence. Yeah, yeah. My yep, exactly. My home. After years of search, This is pretty good. Yeah. Refuge from this life of endless turmoil. Yeah. But of late, Ooh. activities amongst the guilds like of Ravnica has drawn my attention. Ooh! Ooh. Look at that club that that ramp zoom or whatever. These magistrates behave with impunity, imposing ever greater dictates upon the citizenry. While the back and all of Rakdos has taken on an added I think that's the fire. In light of other guild activities. Real? Such as those of the quietly powerful Selesnians. Preparing themselves for Forest. something. And to what end? Oh, that was cool. Damn. Who's next? Mythical Gari, providers Ooh, of questionable sustenance. Necromancy. Mark's thing. Right. Yeah. That is right, yeah. Ooh, dragons. Yes, okay. okay. The I don't know which one this is. Ravnik is from the engineers. Their activities have intensified. And more guilds remain. I sense another power at work. A potent mind I cannot identify. What forces at work here? And what does it mean for Ravnica? Hmm. See, versus the ghost, LLC. There yeah. you go. See, yeah, so the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica mm -hmm. is, like I said, one of the main, like, see, I, I'm not going to lie, though, I didn't recognize any of that. Right, right. <laughs> like, I was like, I don't know what any of this means. But I, th so, like, I remember that there's, like, the, the different, um, what do they call it? Like, the, the, like, there's, like, red, white, green, yeah. all the different, like, sources or whatever? Yeah. Uh, what is it called? Like, recent? I, I thought they were called planes of existence. Are they? I thought so. Or, uh, like, at least planes, because I know when you play, you play as a planeswalker. Oh. And you have this uh, L kind of elemental ability tied to your plane, if that right. makes sense. Well, I mean, there's all of the different planes. I mean, like, the sort of, like, multiverse cosmology in D&D specifically. I mean, Strixhaven and Ravnica are both... 
I don't know if Ravnica, I think, I don't know if Ravnica is a city or if it's one of the planes mm -hmm. of existence. But I mean, in the, within the D&D multiverse, like, all of it exists. So, like, that's why there's, like I said, there's, like, a lot of crossover. Like, I, the guilds of Ravnica is, like, a big deal oh, okay. in Ravnica. Like, all of the different guilds who, like, the engineers are a big one. Like I said, artificers, which right. is, like, a class in D&D. Yeah. Actually, someone thought you were going to pick, uh, end up with an artificer. Oh, really? Yeah, in our D&D class oh. creation video. But, I don't know, like, I... I See, now I'm like, now I'm just like intrigued and I want to learn more about it. Right. One of my players is a big Magic the Gathering fan and likes to play the, what is it, the like online battle one where yeah. you can like, it's digital cards. Yeah. Likes to play that a lot. I mean, there's more trailers for us to react to. Are there to. really? Oh yeah. I'm, I'm pretty, well, this is from 2000... 2012. 2012. 2012. 2012. That's a ways back. But what were you doing in 2012? <sighs> I just started high school. Damn. I was two years out of high school. I was getting drunk in college a lot. Um, but did you see any, like, uh, wh what came first, the D&D or the magic in D &D. terms of Ravnica? Uh, ooh, that's a great question. I mean, d and D's definitely been around a lot longer than right. Magic the Gathering. But, so I, th I would imagine it was D&D, &D, but it could be that, like... I don't know. I, I, that's actually a very interesting question. Let us know in the comments down below if you guys know yeah. which came or like how how it came. Like, was D and D did D and D create the universe of Ravnica and then uh, and then magic, and then magic was like became a part of that, or was it the other way around? Like, right. which is the coast acquired Magic the Gathering or something like that, and then incorporated it as part of the multiverse? Right. I'm not too sure because I would not love to know like where the artificer came into play as well too mm -hmm. uh, that'd be really uh, that'd be really awesome so yeah let us know down below mm -hmm. let us know if you guys like this video if you enjoyed it if you have a good t if you had a good time yes. make sure to drop a like on it because that you know helps us out very much so and let us know which the uh, what the next one you guys want us to react to and make sure you subscribe if you know not. how much it helps us out if you're not if you're not make sure to you know if hit. you are I mean if you are I wish you could do it again but like we love you anyway thank you Thank you very much. And as always, guys, game it till you make it. Bye, guys.